Hello, my name is Jessica Brazen, and I'm a student at the University of Well. Just wondering, but have you ever drank camel milk? Probably not, as camel milk is not a product in Canada. Why? Possibly due to the large cow milk industry and the fact that there are almost no camels in Canada. Camel milk is quite similar to cow's milk, except camel milk has approximately 4.45% lactose and cow milk has 5%. Also, they have a few different proteins. As of these different proteins, people who are allergic to cow milk can drink camel milk. So, consumers of this product are people who are allergic to cow milk, or people who want to try milk from a different source. Camel milk also tastes saltier and is higher in vitamin C. Camel milk could be very popular, as unique and locally made foods often become a trend. The camel milk industry, as with any industry, would be costly to get off the ground. First, there needs to be land to graze and shelter for the camels. The camels would have to be bought from Australian farms or from camel markets in Western Asia and Africa. But which breed? There are two different types of camels. The dromedary, or one-humped, is known to live in warmer climates. The back tree, or two-humped, can thrive in 40 degrees Celsius weather to below negative 20 degrees Celsius. As of the temperatures in Canada, the back tree would be a much better fit. The camels would then have to be shipped to Canada and inspected. The camels would also have to be mature enough to mate, with males maturing at age 6 and females at ages 3 to 4. They live for 30 to 40 years, and a new calf is born every 2 years, with the camel being pregnant for 13 months before any milk can be produced. The milk produced could be processed on site and would then be bottled and shipped to its destination. Camels can be trained to use a milking machine, which would have to be specifically designed for them. There is also the cost of the care for the animal. Camels need food and water and eat similarly to a cow, as camels ruminate, but are not true ruminants. This is as they only have three stomachs. The cost of the camel is $400 to $14,000 depending and the shipping and inspection can be shown in this table from Meat and Livestock Australia of approximately $1,500 per camel. There would also be the cost of a milking machine and workers for the farm. An on-the-farm processing plant can be built for $100,000 to $500,000, with the bottling system costing $36,700 and bottles at $0.20 cents to $1 each. Farmland in Lindsay, an hour northeast of Toronto, goes for $7,000 to $8,000 an acre, and feed is $4 a day per camel. There are other heavily dependent variables including shipping, shelter, fencing, veterinarian services, permits, and more. I have explored two different scenarios, both under perfect circumstances. One being two camels are bought up front, and three more are bought each year after, or buy a herd of camels up front. To find the price camel milk sells for, we can compare to Desert Farms Limited, a camel milk company that ships to Canada. They sell six 16 ounce bottles of frozen or fresh camel milk for $108, or a bottle for $18. Camels can produce an average of five kilograms of milk per day. This chart shows the price of the milk produced. In scenario one, there is a lower starting cost, but less profit is made each year. Each year, the debt is significantly decreased and it is a much safer business plan. In scenario two, there is a higher starting cost, but there is more revenue being produced if the milk is sold for the same value as Desert Farms Limited. Eventually, the revenue becomes positive and no debt is owing, but this scenario is very high risk. The benefits of introducing camel milk as a new product in the Canadian ag food system are People with cow milk allergies can drink it People who originated from countries where camel milk is drank can have it available It can be traded to countries where camel milk is in high demand New jobs are created and it's a new alternative dairy product The milk can also be used to make ice cream, cheese and yogurt and is great for use in cooking and baking So, would you try camel milk? I've got a nice refreshing glass right here.